YouTube. How the fuck you doing? Oh wait, that's not my intro. Ah, damn. Let's do this over. Alright, let's do this shit. Because apparently that's become my intro for some reason. Anyway, I'm Tid Polo, and bringing you another commentary, but this time it's not my gameplay, and it's... I'm gonna go ahead and spoil the ending, not a Moab for once. I know, kinda weird. But, um, this is actually Tid Slacker, who is the newest member of our clan, our cool clan. He's, uh, yeah, I just fucking blinked right there. Anyway, Tid Slacker, and he joined Tid Paws to form the uh, sniping division of our clan, despite us having a couple snipers already, now we have a real part. But, um, obviously he's a sniper, he's pretty beastly, and he will demonstrate that throughout this gameplay. So, he's playing a little CTF here, which has become our main game type. He's playing with, let's see, I think he's playing with Kenmo, uh, Raw, or Milbs, uh, Lloyd Christmas, oh, there you can see him, and I'll figure out the other one in a second. Oh, Tid Paws, of course, and Star Poop Shooter. So he's playing with the full clan, uh, he's playing with a bunch of the competitive guys and the elite clan, which is, and CTF has become really our main focus point on game types. We've really started getting into it, we realized how good we do, and we all enjoy it. It's actually kind of good for the snipers too, and they've, since they play with us a lot, the competitive side, they've started to adjust and learn to play CTF with us. As you can see, we, CTF is pretty easy for us, we don't, we do run into some very good clans, but we normally don't have too much of a problem when we have a full squad going. Um, we've mostly like Tid Rouge, uh, Kenmo, and myself have really figured out all the spawn points in CTF and I've got them really we've got good callouts for all of them so we really got we can spawn trap pretty well but enough about us our competitive side and me bragging about us back to just what do I want to talk about today I don't really want to talk about our competitive side Nothing too much is going on. Snipers are still um, recruiting. Pause is building up clips to hopefully release another video. He's been working on those the past couple of days. Um, other than that, nothing's really going on in the clan. Just kind of all chilling and rolling kids and some uh, some matches. I'm getting. Uh, what should be a topic of discussion. What what has happened interesting in my life that I can talk about? Because this is a long ass gameplay if I remember right. It's about 10 minutes I think. Oh shit. I thought I had screwed up there and stopped the recording. But I didn't. I'm still good. So. Um, I guess I can talk about what's going on in uh, I don't really want to talk about what's going on in my life. It's kind of boring. I've just been... Okay, not boring. I've been just hanging out, doing a lot of fraternity stuff and formals, but y'all really don't care about that, I assume. Uh, that was one of the... I hate Last Stand so much. Can't stand that shit. Just fucking... I don't understand. I don't understand it. Oh, a hit marker for what should have been kill cam. Oh, that's just sucky. So anyway... Uh, actually, Tid Paws, I guess I can talk about this, is, uh, Dare, Dare Sniping, I'm sure you've heard of them, have, uh, are hosting open tryouts right now for basically anybody, any player or any editor, and Tid Paws is actually gonna try and see, see what he can do. We're all pulling for him, even though it would take away our best sniper. Not to say that Slacker isn't amazing, because he is, but it would take away him, but it would be pretty sweet to see an ex-Tid player, or a Tid player in 
dare or a big clan. That'd be pretty fun. Uh, man, I've never actually had to come up with something to talk about. Now I'm being forced to do this. Uh, this is weird. No, oh, I looked into getting a new come uh, a PC. Cause right now I have a Mac laptop, which is what I do all my stuff on. And I'm going back, or I'm starting. How am I gonna say this? I'm working a semester right now, and so I'll go back to taking classes next semester, which means I'll need my laptop for school, for college, and so kind of need a computer to get back into to just keep as my personal gaming one. That'd be nice. So if anyone has any suggestions, cause I, I know about computers and I can work them. I just don't know much about PCs and all their parts. So if anyone wants to point me in the right direction, that would be helpful. Nice wall bang for a six point streak. Seven. Is he going to hit specialist for the second time this game? Is he? I don't know. Well, longer he sits here in hard scopes and misses an easy shot. So, tell me, if y'all snipe, uh, y'all run specialist as y'all's perks? I think I've run it like once on my sniper rifle. I always, I just run support so I can be a little aggressive and not really worry about anything. But I see a lot of pros and uh, phase and people running uh, specialists on their sniper classes, but I just can't. I don't know what all would be good about it. That sounds stupid, but my slide of hand, quick draw, and steady aim or dead silence usually does it for me. That's all I really need. So I don't know. Um, God damn, I say um too much. That's that's one of the main spawns, and that's another one. He's checking them both out to see if, he, if we pushed him there. I Oh my god, the other day, I was playing CTF on this mat, and I was spawn trapping him, and I was on my specialist bonus with my MP5. And I walked up to that spawn, and three of them spawned in front of me, and I ducked down, or went laid, went prone, drop shotted, whatever you want, and started spraying. I had a freaking extended mag MP5, and I could only get two of the three. I was so mad. The other one just spawned, and I don't know how he got me. Whatever. Oh, I just clicked on the trigger, or what, the joystick. Sorry. Didn't mean to. So now it appears that we're gonna get a little campy. Yeah. Wait, well, well done. Well done, Slacker. I'm just messing with you. But, you can see how easily we handle CTF. We really rarely lose when we have a full squad, or even when we have basically half a squad. Uh, I don't know, something about CTF is just good for us. And we can, we normally grab the first two flags and then we either lead the third one on, or we'll get somebody to grab it and just take it back and sit at our flag. I have the hiccups. This sucks. Inopportune time. But um, and then we'll, that's when we'll start our spawn trap. On my back-to-back -back CTF mode, you heard me talk about all our the spawn traps and stuff, so you know what we do. I don't really need to be explaining it in back-to-back -back videos. I just really don't ever know what to talk about for ten minutes. If you're here still, leave a comment saying Tid Slacker is gay. And I'll see how many people get through to this part of the video. That'd be nice. And if you are still here, leave a like too. That'd be nice. Alright. So, yeah. Uh, I think we got about 30 seconds left of the video. And he's been on a streak for a long time. Looking on his specialist bonus. He's, he's got to be in the upper teens, I guess, by now. Looks like he's freaking out. <laughs> well, there it was. Uh, I think. Let's see what his total final score was. As soon as Ken Mo and his gorgeous title get off the screen with his kill cam. Uh, We'll check out the scores. Tid Slacker going 30 and 3 with the sniper rifle. And this is Tid Polo. I'll see y'all the next video. Thanks for watching.
If you want to watch last week's back-to-back -back CTF Moabs, you can, by me, you can click the screen now. Or if you want to watch the last sniper commentary by me and hit pause, you can click on the screen now. See y'all.